Hi, in this video we're going to draw this isometric exercise that is shown in front of you. So I hope you enjoy it. Select the line tool and press F5 to change the isoplane and start drawing a horizontal line. But before that, turn on the ortho mode and now right L and start drawing a line of 50 units and in this direction we have 90 50 again and now we right C to close it okay now we can draw a line starting from here and extending a distance of 40 And from this line, we start drawing this isocircle. Okay, so we select axis end and isocircle. Hit F5 to change the isoplane. And this circle has a diameter of 24. That means the radius is 12. Now trim and copy the circle from this point copy from the center point up to here now we can copy this line from here up to here okay now trim this one and finally draw this line and now we are done with this part After that, we have the thickness of the base, it's 20. So draw a vertical line that has a length of 20 and a horizontal line of 50. Now copy this line from here up to here. Okay. Now this line has a length of 90. That means the center of the circle is 90, is at a distance of 90. So we draw a circle that has a diameter, the outer one, its diameter is 60, that means its radius is 30. So isocircle, and from here, press F5 to change the ice plane and write 30. Okay? Now you can trim and delete at the same time. Okay. Now curve this line from here up to here and at the same time copy but before that trim I'm sorry, just copy this circle from this end point up to here okay now trim select this one and this one and trim this part okay we have the height of this circular part cylindrical part is 50 so we draw a line starting from the center point and its length is 50. Now we can copy this one from the center point up to the end point here and draw a vertical line from the quadrant point to the intersection point. Okay. To the quadrant point, not the intersection point. Okay, that's correct. Now trim
this circle but before that move this vertex now trim and now you can move this line from here up to the quadrant point and trim to draw the smaller circle we have to know the diameter its diameter is 30 that means the radius is 15 okay and now we draw a line in this direction its length is 60 now we can move it from the midpoint up to the center point this line is just a reference to draw this part this cut this cut has a width of 8 that means we have to copy this line 4 to this direction and 4 to the other one and now we can just remove the original one and trim what is between them okay sorry now we can draw the vertical lines here press F5 to change the isoplane draw the other one now trim select this one okay draw another vertical line or just copy this one from here up to here Well, that's it. This is the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. Bye.